clicking on my video. Today's tutorial is the Breath Doll, of course. First things first, we're adding primer all over our face and eyelids to get it prepped and ready for the makeup application. So I didn't use orange concealer to hide my hyperpigmentation. I just went in with my Fenty Concealer. 400, I believe, was the number. I'm blending that out just to hide those dark circles under my eyes and dark spots before we move on to foundation. Now that all of that concealer is blended into my skin to hide those dark spots, I'm going in with my Fenty and Fit Me foundation mixture. Now, I wasn't spot on with the color. It was a little bit on the orange side. If that happens to you, it is okay. Don't freak out. Just add a little bit of blue pigment to your foundation a little at a time. Mix it up and that will neutralize the orange. If you don't know why, reference your color wheel. So I'm using a brush instead of a blending sponge because I wanted a more full cup a fuller coverage in my foundation only because I did not take the extra step and go in with the orange concealer to cover those spots so I don't want my spots bleeding through. I don't have many, but I just want to make sure that the ones I do have are hidden pretty well. Now we conceal. I'm using my KKW Beauty Concealer in Dark, and I'm just going around all of those spots that I want to conceal. High on the cheekbones, underneath the jaw, the nose, in my cupid's bow, and on my forehead. After that, I'm now going in with my eyebrows. I do that after the concealer because once I put the foundation, I mean the light concealer on, I'm just going to blend everything out at the same time. For my eyebrows, as always, I'm using Anastasia's Brow Pomade in Ebony. Um, usually, I match my brow pomade to the color of the brows, and if they have light hair, that plays a part in it. Their skin tone plays a part in it. So just pay attention. You don't always have to do the same color. If you want to go a little lighter, you just simply have to cover your brows with your foundation and then proceed. I'll do a video on that one day. Now that my brows are complete, I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Concealer once again. And I'm just hitting all the high points around my face, underneath the contour, in the inner corners of my eyes, a little in between the brow, the bridge of the nose, and the spaces next to the cupid's bow, just to really accentuate that depth in the pit right there. So of course, sculpt out the brows, pull the concealer down into the eye socket, and then blend it out into the crease and then blend it out. Once I concealed, I went ahead and added the Urban Decay primer to the eyelid. I'll put the exact one underneath in the description box to let you know. It was very pearlized and I definitely wanted that for the eyeshadow look that I'm going for but I did not want it to get cakey and I did not want it to be too blotchy or too much. 
So I just blended it in with my concealer and I believe closer towards the end of um, this step and before I added the eyeshadow, I did add a little bit more just to really make those shimmers pop. Now that I've blended all of my creams, I'm going in with that Sephora Powder Contour Palette. And I'm just simply um, pushing powder contour product into the creams to really make it stand out and to help it to last longer.
Now it's time to set. I'm going in with my Fenty Banana Powder and I am setting all of those contoured areas very gently by pushing the powder product into the skin. Remember, once I do this, I still go in and bake afterwards. I'm just making sure that this product doesn't move around and crease while I'm doing whatever else it is I'm doing on my face. And it also helps to make sure that the powder doesn't get cakey or blotchy after application. Now I'm going in with the powder on my blending sponge to give a more concentrated amount of powder for my bake. I love baking. I love the way it looks after it's all applied. I do make sure that I blend it though because you can't just put it on there and walk away. I think you need to place it and then you need to blend it just to make sure that it looks right. You don't want to walk outside and have like these big ass white, oh, excuse me, big white blotchy patches underneath your eye. So right here is where I added some more of that primer um, because I did lose a lot of the concentration when I blended it out. So I just added some more in prep for the eyeshadow. So now I have absolutely no idea what palette that is. It's an older palette that I had. I just went ahead and used that uh, color red to blend into my eyelid there. I used a very small brush because I wanted to make sure it was pigmented. You don't have to do that, but that's just how I did it this time.
Now that I've blended out all of my colors to satisfaction, I went in with that Kryolan White Cream Foundation just to line my waterline at the bottom. And I love doing this. You guys have seen me do this a few times. It, all I can say is I love how it makes my eyes stand out. So now I'm going in with a pink color and I'm going to press that onto that white cream just to make it stand out. I really wanted um, pink on my lower lid and because I don't have any pigmented concealers of that color, I just kind of have made my own. Now I'm going in with that burgundy color underneath my lower lid just to blend and smoke everything out. Now for the fun part, I'm going in with this metallic purple liquid liner. I'll tag the information below and I'm creating my wing liner. Isn't that so pretty? It's almost like a foil liner. It's just so shiny. This is very crucial to giving that brass doll look because it's like very fun, very doll like. So now I'm going in with a regular black liquid liner and I'm giving myself a few moles, but then also I'm going to outline that purple liner. Now I could have left it like that, but that outline really is going to make that liner stand out and make it pop. So now I'm using Sephora's cream highlight and I'm going into the inner corner of my eye just to give it that extra sparkle. And then on top of that, I am laying the inner corner wing and outlining that in black as well.
So after adding a few more molds, I'm going in with the pink and purple glitter and I'm using a small brush and some lash glue and I'm just applying that glitter in a little in little spots at a time. Like I'm not going to go over the whole eyelid with the glue because it'll dry too quick. Once I'm satisfied with my glitter placement, I'm going in with these really pretty gems that I have. I don't even know where I got these from, but I am just applying them on the outer corner and then I'm going to apply one in my cupid's bow only because I really want this piercing and I don't know if I'm going to get it because I don't want it to mess up my teeth, but yeah. <laughs> Y'all, don't be like me. If you're trying to film a video, make sure that you're actually in the camera view. Like, I don't know why my head keeps just going. I'm looking in the mirror, but I don't understand why I just didn't think to look at myself to make sure that I'm actually in <laughs> the camera's view. Now it's time for a blush. I'm using a Mary Kay blush. Of course, I'll tag the information down below. And before I add that to my face, I have to remember to brush off all of that setting powder. And then once I do that, I'm going to go in with the blush. There it is again. And I'm going to put it on my cheekbones where you would naturally brush, blush. And I believe I put it on my nose this time too. And of course, my nose is running yet again. So once I rectify that situation, I'm going to add highlight. I'm adding it to the bridge of my nose, and then I'm going to add it to my cheeks. Pal, isn't that so pretty? I believe that's my Juvia's Place highlighter, powder highlighter that I'm using right here, which I absolutely love. I mean, look at it. It's so pretty and pigmented. So now it's time for the lip. Of course, I wipe my lips off because they pop once there's no extra product there. And I'm going to go ahead and line them. For my lip line, I'm using Kryolan's lip pencil. It's actually like an eyeshadow slash lip pencil. And I'm using black. Yes, I'm using black. 
I usually only use the brown, but because I really need this to um, recede, I need the corners of my, my mouth to recede so that the middle pops, like a Bratz doll. If you look at a Bratz doll, they have huge lips, but the middle is very pouty. So that's why I did it this way. Before I add the actual lipstick that I'm going to use, I take a brush and it's actually a fluffy angle brush and I am blending out that black color. I do not want it to be extra harsh, so I'm blending out the lines just so that it will fade into my lipstick better. So now I'm adding the lipstick. It is Vintage Rose by Gerard Cosmetics. I'm adding that to the middle and I'm gonna blend it into the black. I just want everything to be very, very smooth. And I want it to almost look like it's spray painted on, you know, like they do the dolls. Y'all see me? I get so excited. Like, period. Because, boom, there I go. <laughs> so, now I'm just randomly looking for something, which I don't know what I'm looking for at this current moment. But, I'm looking hard, too. There we go. I'm going to add some more highlight. So, once I use a smaller brush to add highlight, it's really going to give me that foily look that I'm looking for. So now it's time to set and blot. So now I'm going in with my mascara and I'm going to do the upper and the lowers before I add my lashes. So these lashes are from my lash line and they are very fluffy but not real dense. And they're longer in the middle. So I'm going to place those on and they're going to give me that doll effect that I'm looking for. Now I'm taking some shimmery highlight and going over the pink lipstick just to give it that shimmery lipstick vibe to match my eyes. That's it guys, that is the last step. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your support. Continue to keep watching my page for more videos. See you soon.